what is up guys it's Ben from Beobrick Studios here and today in this video I'll be taking a look at my old Lego Star Wars minifigures so uh, I have um, a few old Lego Star Wars minifigures some of these I, I uh, politely asked my uh, cousins to just straight up give them to me they're older they don't play with Legos anymore um, so yeah so actually quite a few of these are for my cousins um, so yeah now I will start with uh, my some uh, Jedi minifigures um, like this Obi-Wan Kenobi now this Obi-Wan Kenobi is from the chase um, scene from uh, the attack of the clones from that set um, that came with uh, the bounty hunter I forget her name um, but yeah, he's pretty cool, and notice he also has this chrome lightsaber hilt, which they used back then. I really like that piece, and a tip to help conserve their nice chrominess, um, go ahead and attach your minifigure's hand to the actual lightsaber hilt. Um, so yeah, and then also he used this old style um, Lego hair piece in orange. Um, so yeah, and then I believe this was a, an exclusive head print to him. Next, we have uh, Lego Anakin, um, and again, he has a chrome lightsaber hilt, um, and a strange reddish-brown uh, classic hair style, which is um, pretty unique. Um, and then uh, you can see his Jedi braid right there, um, and uh, yeah, so he has also an exclusive uh, face print. Um, so no back printing, basically no back printing on almost like any of these. Um, now this is kind of just like a Jedi Bob sort of minifigure, um, but I just wanted to show you I have a lot of these um, uh, Jedi torsos that I have no idea where they came from. Um, next I have Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, I'm pretty sure this is an exclusive head print to him. Uh, I'm not, I'm, don't uh, quote me on that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that is. Um, and then again, he just has that simple robe like uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi has. Um, and he actually has a cape. Um, and this uh, old hairstyle that they no longer use. I think they last used it in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, or maybe The Hobbit, I'm not sure. Um, and then, yeah. Um, I also, again, have two more of these uh, Jedi uh, torsos. Not sure if these were the exact pants uh, this guy had, but he has a Jedi braid as well. Um, next, uh, staying on the Rebel side, I have a Rebel X-Wing pilot. Now, I'm not sure if this is the exact helmet he wore. I have another uh, X-Wing pilot can that came in a battle pack, um, and then over the years, the pieces kind of got mixed up. and So I assume this is, but uh, yeah, can't be sure. Look at how simple his printing is. Um... And then he also has a classic sunglass smiley face head and no black uh, back printing. Um, let's see, do we have any more rebels? Yes. This is a uh, torso for Luke um, on the battle uh, on the moon of Endor. Um, and more on this set, I also have these two um, scout troopers. So I can confirm I have that one uh, speeder set that I'll show on the screen right now. Um, but yeah, uh, so that is one set I personally own. And then back in my days when I was sharpening, sharpening everything, see some blue Sharpie on there. Oh, and there's the face print they used. Um, next we have a old, uh, uh, Hoth Rebel Trooper in comparison with my newest, uh, Hoth Trooper. Uh, just don't mind the face, that's not the face he actually had. Um. But definitely a lot different. Um, and this one's way more detailed. I um, also have one of those with gray arms, but I'm pretty sure it would normally have white arms. Because if you notice, uh, these this is like a new gray, so um, I'd probably just put the that on. Um, next we have a torso from Luke. Um, not quite sure what set he would have uh, had this on in. But um, this would be when he was battling the Emperor um, on the Death Star. So, yeah. And then this is another Luke torso. This is his uh, Tatooine torso. Um, again, no back printing. Um, so you can admire that for a little while. Um, it is actually pretty detailed. Um, they even have, like, some creases or whatever in the torso. But, uh, yeah. Next we have a Han Solo minifigure. This is the Han Solo in Carbonite. 
in comparison with, I believe, one of the newer uh, Han Solo and Carbonite minifigures, um, this guy is, first of all, flesh-colored, and uh, second of all, he has way more uh, print detailed printing on his uh, torso, as well as his head. Like, this guy is just, like, totally, like, fine with getting, you know, carbonated, but uh, this, this guy is more worried. Um, so that is actually his face that when he's in the carbonite. Um, so yeah. Uh, now on to the bad guy side. Uh, oh, except for Chewie, of course. Um, this is the original Chewie. This is actually the only Chewie minifigure I have. Um, but he's pretty simple, plain brown torso. Um, and he does have a little bit of bra uh, back printing on there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next we have a TIE Fighter pilot. Now, this is the TIE Fighter pilot with just a black-colored Stormtrooper helmet. Um, so this is really cool. I like this minifigure. Um, and his head is kind of unique as well. Um, so, yeah. Sadly, over the years, this has become a very loose connection on his head. But uh, then he does have some back printing as well. Um, next we have that uh, bounty hunter I was talking about that came in that speeder set. Um... So she has some pretty cool printing on her uh, body, um, and she has no back printing, but uh, this is like a lavender purple, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can see her uh, face print there, um, and then she actually has back printing for her shape-shifting form. Um, next up we have the, not the original Stormtrooper, but one of the uh, first Stormtroopers, um, to uh, be released, and he does have some minor back printing, um, and then he just has a plain black head, uh, and then you can see his uh, helmet there. Next, we have Darth Vader. Um, this is with his um, this that's his head, so it's kind of cool, kind of creepy, um, and really really simple uh, printing, no back printing either, um, and I really like his helmet. Um, so yeah. Next, we have a Geonosian. Um, yeah, he's missing his head and his arms. Um, but, uh, yeah, no back printing. The old gray. Um, you can just look at his uh, torso for a little bit. Next, we have a Jango Fett minifigure. And I do have the Boba Fett, the young Boba Fett that came in the uh, Jango Fett Slave 1 somewhere. But one really unique thing about him, and he has, like, a purple, not blue, um, on his torso. So that's a little weird, but, um, yeah. And then he has this original Mandalorian jetpack and hat combo. Um, and then he also has this, uh, face printing there, um, so, and he does have some, like, I don't know, whiskers or whatever you would call them. Um, and then next we have the, the, uh, um, Darth Maul minifigure, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can admire his pretty good face printing for that time. Um, and he has his double-bladed lightsaber, no back printing. Um, so yeah. And then this is probably my most rare minifigure. This is the Boba Fett, the original Boba Fett. Um, and this is all his normal original pieces. Um, so yeah, he's really cool and I really cherish him. Actually, his hands might not be original, I I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, that is all my LEGO Star Wars classic minifigures. Um, what was your favorite minifigure from this collection, and do you have any of these minifigures? Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that trip down memory lane, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.